Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Today we are going to talk about the sealing tool in Revit. We are going to explore the automatic sealing and sketch sealing options while placing ceilings in our project. Let's get started. I have a project where I have already created a few walls, few windows, few doors, floors, beams and columns. Now I would like to create a false ceiling. Let's go to the floor plan of ground level. Let's explore the view range of this particular level. Currently the cutting plane is 1.2 meters and the floor plan is looking downwards in the direction of level 0, 0 offset. But we would like to create a false ceiling above this level which is not going to be visible in this floor plan. So we need a plan view that is looking upwards not downwards. To do that we'll let's go into view, plan views and create a reflected ceiling plan. Now let's go into the view range and check. The cutting plane is 2.3 meters and the top range is level 1, first floor and the offset is 0. The, my depth is also matching the top plane which means I'm looking in upward direction. Now we are ready to create a false ceiling in our project. Let's go to architecture and use the ceiling tool. We have two options, automatic ceiling and sketch ceiling. Let's try the automatic ceiling first. I'm going to choose one of the default compound ceiling type available here. The height offset from the ground level is let's say 2.4 meters. And when I go near one of the enclosed spaces, the automatic ceiling is going to detect the enclosed space here. When I click, I'm able to place the false ceiling. Yes, it's that simple. Let's create a section view here. I can see that I have a false ceiling available here. Let's try that again. Let's go to the ceiling plan of the ground floor. Go to architecture, ceiling, and maybe try this enclosure. As soon as I click on this enclosed space, it has placed this particular type of compound ceiling at 2.4 meters height off from the ground floor. Let's take a look in this section. I can always come back to my ceiling and change the height if I need to. Let's go to the 3D view and check it. I'm going into my visibility graphics and switch off my floors. Now I can see my false ceilings. Now let's go back to our ceiling plan. Let's say in this particular room I do not have a false ceiling which is rectangular like what we have here. I don't want to use automatic ceiling but instead try to sketch my ceiling to the shape that I like. So let's go to architecture ceiling and use sketch ceiling option. Let's pick walls and maybe create a shape using the tangent arc method here. Whenever we are in the spink line mode always remember to trim your corners properly. It has to be a closed loop with no overlaps and no intersections. Let's finish this. Let's take our section through this false ceiling. We have a false ceiling at 2.4 meters of the shape that we had sketched. Let's go back here. You can also select your automatic ceiling and convert that into a sketch ceiling by going into edit boundary and make changes to it. Let's create a circle inside this rectangle. When I create a closed loop, inside a closed loop, it is going to create a void. So you can anytime come back to your ceilings, go to edit boundary and make changes to the ceiling boundaries as you please. Remember, creating a loop inside a loop creates a void. Creating another loop creates a solid. Another loop creating creates a void. If you would like to try a hands-on exercise on placing a ceiling by sketch, you may pause this video at this point and try to follow the steps on the screen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, please press the like button. In the next episode, we are going to talk about creating roof by footprint. So please subscribe, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next.